Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. What I have here is a truly impressive machine. This is a 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE 63S with an amazing twin-turbo V8 engine. It rockets to 0 to 60 in mere 3.4 seconds and it will make many other sports cars to a shame. So an impressive, impressive SUV that performs like a true sports car. But there's more to this brand than just the shape of the car, the design or styling. I really think what makes Mercedes-Benz stand out now is the overall blend and the balance of the steering feel, the handling, the braking, the transmission and the suspension. Everything comes together as one cohesive package. Mercedes-Benz is doing that balancing act better than any other brand these days. Now, if you go back many, many decades ago, Mercedes-Benz made a true name for itself because it became the world's first automaker to produce a production vehicle. And since that time, it keeps reinventing itself, but it did struggle with some branding issue 20, 30 years ago when BMW and Audi seems to be the trendy brand to think about while Mercedes continued to become kind of a legacy brand focused on tradition and conservatism. But Mercedes-Benz is a truly talented brand and a talented automaker that knew exactly what to do. So instead of kind of carrying on with the tradition of being a conservative and very luxurious flagship brand, it decided to reinvent itself. And that is the true story behind this AMG branded model right here. It's more than just about the handling, it's more than just about the engine, it's the whole package and how Mercedes turned around its brand to become the performance-minded automaker of the world. And you might recall that it was back in 1999 when Mercedes put a V8 engine into the ML midsize SUV and turn it into ML55. And at the time, even though it was only zero to 60 in kind of six second range, it became the benchmark of the world because no one else had turned an SUV into a performance model. Since that time, Mercedes has been refining that process and they kept making the AMG brand much more of a pure performance brand. So I think for me as an automotive engineer, I am appreciating this vehicle much more than some of his competition. I have driven the competitors models and none of them quite comes as close as this Mercedes GLE. And I think the reason why is the way that they've engineered and developed this model to integrate the highest performance of the engine and output and combining that with a careful calibration and tuning and engineering of the suspension pieces. It is a pretty firm riding SUV. It's not a comfortable SUV by any means, but it will rock it like crazy and corner much like any other high performance sports car. Now, the only other true competition would be the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. That one is also a really impressive package. So a little bit of a toss up between that and this one, but there's something quite special and something a little bit more uh, premium about this particular model that I really like. Now, I don't mean this to be kind of full review. It's more of a kind of first impression by an automotive engineer. And of course, this thing is not cheap. It's close to $150,000 Canadian. So this thing is obviously not for everyone. But what I wanted to point out is how Mercedes, more so than other brands, have successfully blended the idea of an SUV with a sports machine. So it has a pretty uh, low profile shape. It goes all the way through and this is a kind of coupe or coupe design so it slopes very quickly so if you just look at this portion only it's just like a sports car except it's riding higher obviously it's reasonably wide and big because it's not a small suv so when you look at it from far away you can tell right away it's an suv but they did the best they can to make this as close as possible to a true performance machine and uh, even the selection of the wheels the tires, although I'm a bit surprised by the choice of tires because it's in Yokohama tires, but anyhow. Uh, and then the whole integration of the design, uh, the emblems, the interior, which I'll show in a second, all of that it's, uh, brings sort of this really aggressive nature and design. 
And so I really like the way this whole thing works. I did a quick uh, engineer's check of the quality of the uh, body finish and also the integration of how everything comes together. And it's world class. It's no longer just the Japanese or Lexus who have the best building body and best building cars. I think this thing is truly well made. And going back here along the lines, the contours of the, of the Mercedes and the way that it's shaped, the way it's profiled, it's uh, pretty, pretty impressive. So I think overall what I'm trying to say is that if you're looking for a most high-end, highest performing SUV, uh, it's no longer the BMW and no longer the Audi's RS brand that matters, although, although I really like the Audi RS6. But it is actually the AMG branded Mercedes that I think comes near the top. All new for 2021, this uh, GLE 63S has a mega size infotainment system and instrument digital dash that's all combined together in a way that is really, really world class because most uh, manufacturers try to have kind of tablet style infotainment system in the center and another separate digital dash but it's one seamless design and uh, combined with the carbon fiber uh, trims and also this satin finish on the dials uh, and these, uh, these grab handles in leather, obviously, uh, combined with some of the glossy black panels provide a really, really fancy looking interior that uh, cries out expensive. And uh, if you compare this to, let's say again, the BMW uh, X4 or X5M, those vehicles look way outdated in comparison to this. Even the steering wheel has a really nice satin finish, uh, truly impressive looking steering wheel. It looks expensive, no doubt. Uh, all of this design, and I know um, you can't see too much from there, but the seat design and the bolsters, all this come together in a much better cohesive way than its competition. I think Mercedes-Benz gets it. It knows how to impress its customer. It knows how to bring everything together to give that flair, that flavor of the world class. And uh, you know what? The competition is just simply behind. At this price range though, I don't know would I pay $150,000 for an SUV that has a performance of a Porsche. 911 turbo I'm not I'm not quite sure that I would do that even if I had the money but it does look expensive it performs like a real sports car and I don't think there's anything else out there that comes close to this level of performance this level of advanced engineering and technology and this level of refinement and smoothness that makes the price almost worthwhile so that's it for now I want to give you a quick walk around of this impressive package and show you that Mercedes-Benz is no longer your father's brand. It is truly a brand that keeps advancing forward and other competitors are simply falling behind. So I hope you enjoyed my story about the AMG and how it has evolved over the years to become a truly high performance brand. Thank you so much for watching. A lot more to come your way. So please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you can. And we'll talk to you very soon. Signing off for now. Thank you so much.